Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 271. ECG Diagnosis of an MI. If the infarct happens at the anterior wall due to occlusion of the left anterior descending artery, which leads would show the Q wave? V1 through V4 would show the Q wave. If the infarct is located at the anterior septal area due to the effect on the left anterior descending artery, which leads would show the Q wave? Leads V1 through V2 would show the Q waves. If the infarct is located anterior lateral due to the occlusion of the left circumflex coronary artery, which leads would show the Q wave? The leads that would show the Q wave would be V4 through V6. If the infarct occurs at the lateral wall due to the occlusion of the left circumflex coronary artery, which leads would show the Q wave? The leads that would show the Q wave is lead 1 and AVL. If the infarct occurs at the inferior wall due to the occlusion of the right coronary artery, which leads would show the Q wave? The leads that would show the Q wave is lead 2, lead 3, and AVF. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.